you know, and it's neat being a part of, uh, you know, uh, one of my favorite authors and my favorite director and my favorite screenwriters all got together and made something. So it was it was amazing just to get to be a part of it, you know. Uh, well, it was such a privilege and an honor to uh, have this legacy entrusted to Kathy Kennedy, Melissa Matheson, and myself, and then Mark, Mark and Ruby to tell this story. We, we're really grateful to the Raoul Dahl estate and uh, you know we're we're hearing that Raoul Dahl would have liked the movie had he lived to see it. So I'm counting on the family that they're telling the truth. I'm sure they are. Well, well, there's no cynicism in the movie, you know, and and I don't usually use cynicism as a, you know, as a, a way to attract attention. But we live in a very cynical time, and uh, uh, it, it's it's sometimes hard for it not to sort of sift into the mix. But we mixed this dream very carefully. And when we mixed this dream of BFG, we kept all the cynicism out of it. We also tried to not make it just a bathotic, sentimental journey. We wanted this to be a true love story and a, a developing friendship between two completely different personalities who find that they have and share so much in common. Well, you know, it's, it's just that the opportunity never arose for me to direct for Disney. I always wanted to because it was the only studio I never directed for. Thank <laughs> you.